How many times have we bent over backwards to accommodate you? <laughs> if we take the slipper to him next. <laughs> you have a flaccid personality, Nicholas. A blown in the wind character. Your behaviour today alone has been atrocious. Come. Uh, beg your pardon. Yes, what is it? Well, we've uh, finished in the other rooms. We've just got this one. Oh, very well. Carry on. What effect do you think this has on your aunt? Why do you have to be so damnably public in your dissipations? Parading yourself in front of workmen, for heaven's sake. Uh, shall I, uh... Shall I come back later? Shall I? What? No, no, get the damn stuff cleared, man. You've wasted enough time as it is. Your aunt is so distressed by this affair that your future behaviour will be governed by me. What do you mean? She's granted me power of attorney over all your future financial transactions. She came straight out with it. What, and you're complaining? It's all too clinical. Women sometimes think they're alien seeds from another planet. What should I do? Do? Ugh. Well, you either give her the bullet or you start taking your vitamin E tablets, son. Perhaps I should have a word with Bamba. No, he's no good. He's an unstarter when women are concerned. The office as if? I thought I'd be more use here. You could be right. Where's Bamba? Oh, uh, Ken. Bamba. You care to fill me in? Yes, uh, a Mr. Trevelyan turned up. Oh, yeah. He's indoors with the ladyship. Let me guess. Mr. Trevelyan is not a happy bunny. Green. Right, get this closed up before anything else goes wrong. Okay, Oh. Well, uh, we'll be getting off, Your Lordship. Oh, right. Bamba. Well, all the best and everything. Uh, sorry about today. I hope you didn't get in too hot water with your boss. Oh, he'll come round. Uh, you're going to be all right. Yeah, well, I can't get into too much trouble out here, can I? Does look like too bad a prison to me. But on the quiet side... You know, rumour has it Queen Elizabeth I threw a great feast here in honour of Shakespeare's King Lear. Apparently, they got through 20 hogsheads of wine in one evening. I sometimes think I was born in the wrong age. Yeah. Yeah, uh, back at your flat, I, um... Uh, I couldn't help overhearing what your Mr Trevelyan was going on about at you. Uh, I tend to switch off. I'm afraid I've heard it all before. Yeah, I'll bet you have. <laughs> if you'll excuse the presumption, sir, you have to stand up to them. No one can abide a doormat, no matter what station in life they are. Huh? See, your Mr Trevelyan likes walking all over people, and he'll keep on doing it as long as you let him. Thank you for your advice. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you, sir. Oh, um, <laughs> it's unlikely, that feast story. See, most authorities agree that King Lear was written about 1605, two years after our good Queen Bess passed on. Anyway, this house is, uh, Carolean, or late Jacobean at the earliest. So, uh, she was long gone before they even had the damp course put into this place. <laughs> Goodbye, sir. Bye-bye.
All finished if you'll just sign on the dotted line. There's mud on the floor. Ah, uh, here's an occupational hazard, I'm afraid. Quick run over with a mark, right as mine. You have the gall to stand there and tell me you expect to be paid in full for this travesty of a day's work. There have been some hiccups, I would... Hiccups? The whole operation's been a fiasco from beginning to end. Your men turn up hours late. Then far from getting on with the job, take themselves off to breakfast. As if that wasn't barefaced cheek enough, they then spend the rest of the morning down at the local pub. I'm very sorry, but I really must insist. Insist? A good mind to chuck you out on your ear. Then I have no alternative than to take legal proceedings. Legal proceedings, little man. You seem to forget I'm a lawyer. I shall issue countersuit for negligence, failure to comply with the contract. I may be a little man to you. Your firm will be a laughing stock. But I recognize a bully when I see one. Get out. My lad's turned up fully prepared to move his lordship and spent the day acting nursemaid to a spoilt young man who's old enough to know better. If, as you say, legal action is disbarred to me, then I must recoup my losses in another way. I shall contact the tabloid press. Very much their territory, I should think. You wouldn't dare. If I don't have a check on my desk Monday morning, you see if I don't dare. Good day. I don't know about these flowers, Bamba. Oh, trust me. Flowers are the lingua franca of apology. All right? You got a wine? And remember, Man, there's only one course of action to take in a case like this. Now get in there and start groveling. What am I going to say to a bamba? Contents immaterial. It's the grovel that counts. It's not that I'm not grateful to Ken. It's just what we're today and everything, being back out on the road. I reckon maybe I'm not cut out for the office after all. There's no need to apologise. Many before you were found a white collar too tight after the blue. I'm not with you. Look, I'm a great advocate of honesty in these policies, you know. If you're not ready to work in the office, you get over there and tell Ken. He's human, he'll understand you. Go on, I'll get these. So why'd you lie to me? I wasn't lying! You were. Who are you with? The boys. And? The boys! You're lying. All right, I know you don't like Dainty Bill, all uh -oh, right? Dainty Bill, nor his Kiwi barmaid he lives with. Honestly, Nick, I was that close to changing the locks on you. Oh, come on, Kath, you wouldn't do that, not to me. Oh, Nick, there might come a time. Oh, Nick. I've come to terms with the fact that I'm never going to get you down the aisle. But there's Tarquin, Marley, Nicola, and not forgetting the cats. You've got your responsibilities. Look, I know it's been hard. I know we haven't got the money, but Marry if you me. lie to me all the what? Marry me. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, do you want to marry me or what? Yeah. All right. You'll forget about this in the morning. No, I won't. I'll tell the old pub if you like. Well, go on then. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen! Ladies and gentlemen, can I, oi, oi! Can I have your attention for a couple of seconds, please? Right. I'm sitting here with this, um, with this beautiful girl. And I don't know how, but, um, but I've asked her to marry me and she said, yeah. And I feel great. Great. <laughs> right, that's it. Carry on with your drink. Thanks very much. Excuse me. <laughs>